true and scary. Thank you for listening to us on this outlet. We are very excited about the new year. May your new year be filled with love and prosperity. We are happy to be part of your family. We will return right after this. Joseph, your host. True and scary. Warning, graphic and disturbing content ahead including mentions of sexual assault, abuse and murder. Frances Knorr, aka the baby farming murderess, an English woman who moved to Australia, became a baby farmer, and is believed to have killed, by strangulation, multiple children in the late 1800s. According to the Australian Dictionary, Knorr was tried and found guilty and ultimately hanged on January 15, 1894, for her crimes. Linda Hazard, aka the Starvation Doctor, who was responsible for at least 15 deaths in the state of Washington in the early 1900s. Hazard had no medical degree, but due to a loophole for practicing alternative medicine, was actually licensed to practice medicine in Washington state. Hazard created a sanitarium called Wilderness Heights in Olalia, Washington, where she treated patients via fasting, giving them only small amounts of juices. Although some patients actually survived her care, she was convicted of manslaughter in 1912 and was sentenced to 2 to 20 years in prison. She was released on parole in December 1915 after serving two years and even received a full pardon the following year. She died in 1938 from starvation while attempting a fasting cure. Rosemary West, a serial killer in England who murdered, sexually assaulted, and tortured at least nine women, possibly more, along with her husband, Fred, from 1973 to 1987. According to Sky News, many of the West's victims, who were all young women, were found buried in the cellar or garden of their house. Fred died by suicide in prison in 1995, while Rosemary remains in a prison in Yorkshire serving a life sentence. Unveiling captivating tales that will leave you intrigued. Introducing story tidbits hosted by Joseph, providing you with true and spine-chilling narratives. Brace yourself for a thrilling journey into the depths of the unknown, as we delve into the realm of the mysterious. Join us in uncovering the untold stories that will send shivers down your spine. Stay tuned for our gripping episodes that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Killer excuse. Fernando La Fuente was playing video games at home after work last November, he first heard reports of his death. The Dublin-based engineer and recreational soccer player got a call from his boss who was wondering how a dead man had just been at the office. His former team, Ballybrack FC, had been having difficulty recruiting players and decided to fabricate news of his passing to postpone an upcoming game. The tactic worked a little too well, support poured out over social media, and a local newspaper published an obituary. Thankfully, La Fuente prospered in his resurrection, even snagging a commercial deal with an Irish gambling company. Nathaniel Basin Prepare yourself for bone-chilling tales that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Join Joseph, your captivating host, as he shares true and terrifying stories from all corners of the globe. Brace yourself for an unforgettable journey into the depths of fear and the unknown. Are you ready to uncover the darkness that lurks among us? Tune in and let the haunting begin. Toil and Trouble Timmins, Ontario, resident Tiffany Butch became the final person to be charged under Canada's anti-witchcraft laws last December, just days before the regulations were taken off the books. Butch, who considers herself a psychic, stands accused of accepting payment in exchange for using her spiritual powers to protect a client from danger. Butch says she's innocent, and predicts winning her case. Nathaniel Basin Burning Man One afternoon last November, United States Border Patrol agent Dennis Dickey aimed his rifle at a target labeled boy or girl and fired. 
The bullet was meant to hit an explosive substance, producing either blue or pink smoke in order to reveal the biological sex of his imminent baby. Soon, though, all he could see was red and orange. The blast caught brush, sparking a fire that spread to more than 18,000 hectares of Arizona state land and took more than a week to douse. Dickey burned through more than just forest, as he pays back part of the state's $8 million price tag, his retirement savings have also gone up in flames. Nathaniel Basin Welcome to the bone-chilling world of our true and scary podcast, where we unravel spine-tingling stories from every corner of the globe. Brace yourself for our latest edition, True Tidbits, offering bite-sized tales that hit the nail on the head. I'm Joseph, your host, ready to delve into the dark secrets lurking just beneath the surface. Join us, if you dare.